All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video going over the results of the Rick Walking Dead movie spinoff versus series results with you guys. We did a poll, got a couple of thousand people to vote. Go ahead and give their thoughts whether or not they'd rather see a Walking Dead Rick movie spinoff or for AMC just to do a Walking Dead Rick spinoff series. All right, so I definitely wanted to go ahead and do this video with you guys, recapping our poll that we started um, about a week ago or so, and uh, wanna thank you all for voting. We had over 2,000 people vote, which is really amazing. To get that many people to do anything is hard. Um, so the question was, with respect to what you wanna see for Walking Dead with Rick now, do you want to see a Walking Dead Rick spinoff movie still, or at this point, are you basically saying, you know what, scrap the movie, um, it's taken way too long, AMC, you guys crank out series in less than a year, tells The Walking Dead literally is like filming, you know, right now, and it's literally going to be airing this summertime, so uh, give us a Rick spinoff series. Also, because the original Walking Dead TV series is actually ending now, so that's why this makes sense. Uh, you wouldn't likely do a Rick series at the same time as having the original Walking Dead TV series on, but because the original Walking Dead TV series going ahead and ending, now at this point it makes sense to uh, question, could they do a Rick spinoff series instead, as they are doing other spinoff series for other Walking Dead characters, and if they were to do a Rick spinoff series, that would likely be uh, the biggest, uh, even bigger than the Daryl Carroll spinoff or the uh, Negan and uh, Maggie spinoff. So uh, the question at this point, would you rather see a Walking Dead Rick movie or would you rather see a Walking Dead Rick spinoff series, a Walking Dead 2, you know, insert whatever kind of name you want. The Negan and Maggie spinoff series is called Isle of the Dead. So a Rick spinoff series, you could call it whatever Walking Dead dash whatever, um, you know, title you want to insert here, The Walking Dead 2, the sequel, something like that, uh, would be kind of cool. So so here's what we got for votes. Uh, only 29% of you guys, and you guys are hardcore Walking Dead fans, a lot of you guys have been subscribed. I get comments 10 years ago, 9 years ago, 5 years ago, 2 years ago, 3 years ago, you know, recently last week, right, <laughs> all over the place. Only 29% of you guys are still wanting to see a Rick movie at this point. 71% of you guys are saying no, forget the movie, just give us a Rick spinoff series at this point. Um, you know, and then to to uh, to go in further on that, I guess probably over 70% of you guys are feeling like, you know, that's it for the movie. It's been five years. They still haven't started filming yet. Pretty soon we're going to be up to like uh, the six year range because you got to remember when they film a movie, they have to film it over a while and then they got to edit it like crazy. There's all kinds of effects and stuff. It takes like a year to do all the editing or sometimes more than a year to finish all that and then finally release it. So we're at this point, like six years since 2018. If they were to get a movie done, it'd be like a 2024 release, something like that. That's six years after Rick left in 2018 from the Walking Dead TV series. So that's just too long. People would probably rather see a Rick spinoff series at this point. So 71% of you guys said that's the case. So uh, very cool. I want to thank you guys for your feedback. And uh, I hope that you know, one way or another, I hope that AMC can get something together, can get something done. I'm all for seeing Andrew Lincoln in MCU if that uh, report ends up being true, which it could very well be. It's logical that he'll be looking for projects to do. And, you know, a lot of us blamed him at first for doing Penguin Bloom and doing Scrooge and doing other projects when we want to see him as Rick. Uh, the fan base really, really wants to see him back as Rick, but it, it may not be his fault. If AMC just cannot get their shit together for the Rick movie, then what, you know, what option do we, we they, you know, he has no option. He's got, gonna, okay, I'll go do MCU or I'll do something else. What else is he going to do? He's going to wait around for this Walking Dead movie to manifest itself uh, year after year after year, four years later, five years later, it just never happens. Obviously, he's going to say, okay, well, if you guys can't get it together, maybe Marvel can get something together for me and I can read for whatever part or whatever and go do that instead. So uh, I hope that AMC, you know, uh, reconsiders with the movie trilogy idea, which was originally pitched 
I hope they decide let's do a Rick spinoff series, do it on Premiere or whatever, and you know figure out what they can do as far as that goes. I think at this point, it's probably safe to say a Rick trilogy movie idea is probably off the table because of how long it took them to do the first one. Maybe one Rick movie is about all we get, or possibly two, I guess. I would rather see a Rick sequential spinoff series, which could be a couple seasons or as long as he wants to do it for, uh, and it could be a more limited episode run. It doesn't have to be 16 episodes. They could do six episodes a season, eight, ten, focused on Rick, and uh, and do that. So leave your comments below. Let me know what you guys think about that one, and we'll get into some further of your guys' comments. All right, so the next comment came from uh, Diedrich Van Loof, who said that, uh, dude, I'm still devastated that it's over soon for the Walking Dead TV series. It was 11 years of my life. I want Morgan back, uh, too, in the last eight parts. Uh, love uh, Morgan. Love the character. So, yeah, I, I think it's safe to say we probably will never see Morgan reunited with, you know, any of the other uh, cast and crewmates of the original Walking Dead TV series before the, the end of Walking Dead. Um, but it would be really cool if they could do something. He's still in each episode of, of Fear, like he's in the episode uh, number yeah number nine from uh, season seven. He's in that episode at the end. So you can still see Morgan. I recommend watching Fear. He's awesome in it, really incredible. And he's got some amazing episodes. Some of his best episodes in anything are in Fear, actually, I think. Like when he fights the bounty hunter and stuff is like better than anything they ever did with him in the original Walking Dead series. So uh, really cool stuff. Definitely check that out if you haven't seen it, Diederich. But it would be cool to see Morgan and some of the others uh, reunited again. And definitely, I feel you, after 11 years of uh, the series, it's actually longer with the shutdowns and stuff and extended episodes. It's more like 12 or 13 years by the time they finish this all up. And then there's going to be spinoffs after that, which should be good. But yeah, it's really sad to see it. But uh, don't get uh, too down here, Diederich, because... Um, they are going to have the uh, the other uh, spinoff series and stuff, which will be fun too. So and uh, and we're all holding out hope that they get something done with Rick. I'd rather a movie than nothing, but a Rick spinoff series would be really awesome. Uh, Valve uh, View Sue said, "I'll bet Andrew Lincoln was so mad he left the show. These movies are a joke. They'll never happen." And that's what a lot of people were saying at first, like back in season nine, back in season ten. People were saying to me, "They're like, Trevor, these movies are not happening." They just said that as damage control because their star was leaving. Right? They were a number one <laughs> build character in the series was leaving, so the movie pitch or the movie trilogy pitch from Gimple was just damage control so people would continue watching and not just quit and and all leave right after Rick left. So I was very hesitant to uh, to, you know, accept that information. But at this point in time right now, I'm like, well, I mean, it really does look like that's probably the case. Right. It looks like it looks like that's what happened. Like, <laughs> what else do you want to say? Right. I mean, it's it's too many years now. It's like uh, by the time they get it done to be six years. So um uh, there was another person who uh, uh, who mentioned who said uh, this proves the Walking Dead movie or Michonne Rick spinoff is not happening at least not anytime soon. And they did a list, so I thought this was pretty good. Uh, I, my apologies, I didn't record the person's uh, username. Uh, there's usually an announcement first for a movie that's going to be coming out, right? There's interviews, right? There's casting calls. There's a title reveal, which they kind of did, and then they kind of dropped it. Like they showed like a Walking Dead movie title set, like many like. Five, like what, like, uh, you know, three or four years ago and then nothing after that. There's set photos, right? Obviously, they're, they're not even filming, so you'd have something, but, he, but he's right. Teasers, trailers, and then a release date. And the fact that it still doesn't have any of those, um, yeah, it's not, uh, it's not looking good. Um, but it, it's frustrating because AMC can get uh, Tales of the Walking Dead done. They can get more seasons of the original series done, more seasons of Fear of the Walking Dead done. They can get World Beyond done for two seasons. And uh, they just can't seem to get this Rick movie together. Maybe they're being too ambitious and they're trying to do too much in it and it's they, they don't have the capability for it. Also, their funding is going to be lower now too because not as many people watch The Walking Dead, like a lot less than when Rick was on it. So uh, back in season nine, it might have made sense to do a big budget movie. Now they might be saying like, do we really want to put that money into that? Are we sure we're going to get it back? Not sure. It's, it's a bit of a risk. Uh, Shady Reactions says, uh, all these things are marketing tools and proof 
Uh, oh, right. That was Shady Reactions who, who listed the top uh, comment there with the list of all these reasons. The proof that the sh a TV show or movie is going to happen. They promote the show because it, it's real and they want to draw interest um, in uh, to people to see it in theaters or pay for streaming. Yeah, and, and we're not seeing absolutely any of that. I agree with you 100% Shady. Uh, nothing's happening so far. Peter Francis said, Trev, do you think the Walking Dead universe fan base um, has become really toxic now since uh, season seven, episode one, with all these bad decisions Gimple made? Well, it's it's pretty bad, Peter. It's not the worst fan base I've dealt with over the years. In some ways, the Game of Thrones fan base was worse. Uh, definitely the conspiracy space is like a bazillion times worse. Like it's unbelievable. <laughs> you know, they get like swatted and they get like, like uh, the feds mess with them. And they, it's, uh, you know, as far as like, you know, but as far as entertainment and fans of entertainment series, The Walking Dead is not the worst I've seen. Okay, I've seen much worse than The Walking Dead fan base, Peter. I have. Um, however, uh, you know, The Walking Dead fan base has been a little bit uh, miserable uh, <laughs> the last couple of years, especially with shutdowns, reopening, whatever. And then the Rick movie just, just being pushed into the... Uh, ever pushed into uh, the future, right? Uh, of, oh yeah, it's gonna, but he's doing this movie and he's doing that, whatever, but oh yeah, oh yeah, we're still doing it. Like, they kind of say it like, oh yeah, yeah, we're still doing it, but it's like, uh, okay, when are you doing it? It's like, we want it to be good, we want it to be right. It's like, okay, all right, fair enough. Um, how can they cancel something that never started or intended to be made in the first place? Says uh, X Hennessy about the Rick, the Rick movie. So people just thinking like they never intended to do it to begin with. They're just calling it. They're calling their bluff, I guess. Wenson Wackaworth said uh, they can't cancel movies at this point. It'd be too disappointing for fans. Well, I don't know how many fans there are left, Wenson, at this point. I mean, you're, you're dealing with a much smaller section of a fan base for Walking Dead than you had when he left. So uh, I don't know if a lot of those people would come back if you get a movie done now. Maybe they would because they'd be like, oh, get to see Rick again. But I don't know, man. I don't know if they would actually uh, come back. It, it depends, right? It's, it depends. And, and the amount of time they're taking is like, that's too long. You know, it's, it's too many years, too long. Um, okay, and Frizzle says that he, he doesn't like movies as much. Not enough time for character development versus a TV series. Uh, and it's harder to emotionally attach to different characters. And I agree with you there, Frizzle. That's true. That's one advantage that TV series have over movies like crazy is that they can have more anticipation be between moments. Um, they can do better with character development than movies can do because they have more time. Uh, they can have characters leave and come back. They can tell a more, a longer running story. And uh, yeah, so that's absolutely true. Um, uh, Z -Z -Z Arca says, Dan, Trav, you stuck to your word when you said you'd only cover things that you like or you find uh, interesting. Yeah, that's right, uh, Triple Z Arca. Uh, I'm only going to do videos on stuff that I actually really enjoy or I think is really good, right? Like, I, you know, if I just think something's all right, I might do like one or two here or there, like a quick review or whatever. But um, if I'm not really into it, I'm not. Like, All of Us Are Dead is a series on Netflix. A lot of people really like. I thought it was dreadful. I almost did a review for it. And then I was like, I don't even care enough to do that, <laughs> you know, because I just didn't like it at all. But you know, definitely, if you enjoy something, it's easier to do reviews and stuff for it and talk about it because you actually like it. I wish I liked the Marvel stuff more because I know that so many people like the Marvel stuff and the Star Wars stuff. Uh, I wish I liked those. Uh, I just don't like them that much for whatever reason, uh, whether it's too much CG or whatever the case may be. I think they're okay. I'll watch them for fun. But as far as like reviews and stuff and, you know, uh, uh, stimulating psychologically, not that much, a little bit but not that much for me. It just They just don't do it for me for whatever reason. But uh, like they used to when, when I was younger or maybe like, um, you know, some of the X-Men. I really love the X-Men movies uh, very, very much. So I, I can make videos on those all the time. The Avengers and stuff is like, eh, it's okay for me. I can do a few here and there, but not that many, right? So, um, and yeah, a lot of people to wrap up are disappointed with the first two episodes of Fear of the Walking Dead season seven. Uh, second half, that is, episode nine and 10. It's unfortunate. Uh, that we're seeing so many people dissatisfied. I am sort of predicting in my mind, I'm predicting fear to be canceled in the next couple years. I, I really don't know. They're doing all these other spinoffs and stuff. Fear of the Walking Dead has been on a long time. It's been on seven full years. It got renewed for season eight, so they're doing an eight. But um, from the feedback I'm seeing from you guys, it, it's really looking to me, it's, it's like most, it's like probably the most obvious, uh, you know, uh, um, 
this layout for cancellation I've maybe ever seen. Like <laughs> the next couple of years is like this show's getting canceled. I can all I can almost guarantee I will be shocked if it doesn't get canceled and it gets like a season nine. I I, I do not think it'll get a season ten. So we should be looking at Fear the Walking Dead in the next couple of years to wrap up. I really think that's what's going to happen. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. You can leave your comments below. Do you guys think Fear will be wrapping up in the next couple of years? I think it will be. And uh, can't wait to see if they can get a Rick a Rick series done of some kind. But I do understand a lot of you guys are saying, like, they never intended it. It's BS. They're not buying it anymore. They're like, they're like totally not buying it. So... I understand that too. Let's hope with ending the original Walking Dead TV series will allow them to produce the movie and get the time they need to do that or, or produce a Rick spinoff or whatever they do. If you like this video, please thumb it up below, share, favorite, leave the comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Fear cancellation soon, Rick series or movie, what do you feel? And do you think they're even going to get a series done? Or are you saying at this point, I, Trav, I, I don't think they're going to do any of it. So that's it for this one. I'll see you guys again soon for another. As always, this is Trav saying peace. Later guys, see you soon.